<clears throat> so here we go, the singing bit. Um, I will tell you that I am not very much a fan of computers telling kids how musical they are. Computer is a, is a doorstop, it's dumb. It only puts out what we put in, right? So if, I don't really like the idea of what I'm gonna show you, but if you have a lot of kids, or if you have kids who don't practice, which is, was the bane of my existence as a band director, begging the kids, please practice, I'll actually pay you a dollar if you go home and practice, or I'll throw you a massive pizza party if you all practice, please. Uh, if that sounds familiar to you, that was my whole life as a middle school band director. Um, and a lot of people ask us, you may have heard of a product called Smart Music, it's been around for a while. Um, let me uh, go back here. Uh, this is what our platform looks like. This is the teacher view. There's John Williams, oh happy birthday my friend. Uh, and we have a software tab up here, and on, on this version of the software, you can all get a free demo, I'll show you at the end. Um, and you could use this for a month. All the software is already in there. We're going to try practice first. And I'm going to sing for you one of my favorite songs, Cockles and Muscles, a very good old Irish folk song. Right, here we go. We have about 12,000 pieces of content already in the platform, or you can create your own, either with notation files or just audio recordings. Here we go. And I am going to sing my head off. This is going to be great. Remember, I'm a tuba player, so please, no tomatoes or cabbage. Here we go. In Dublin's fair city, where girls are so pretty, I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone. As she wheeled her wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, Crying cockles and muscles, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, crying cockles and muscles, alive, alive, oh. All right. Thank you. Now, I will let you know that there were at least five mistakes that I did on purpose. <laughs> Truthfully, I really, I, singing out of tune for me is so hard, but I, I gave it a, a real good shot. Now, this is pretty darn cool. I got an 83%. I'm feeling good about my life uh, that I sang in front of, you know, 50, 60 people and, and did that well. It's telling me I got an 83%. I got 90% on my pitch, which is, if you added up the total number of pitches and the ones I got wrong, is probably correct. But it said my rhythm's pretty lame, 77%. Well, I'm a tuba player, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Um, and so what we do is something very, very different and I think really rich in terms of assessment feedback is we, I call this the psychedelic slug trail, right? It looks like a slug or a worm went through paint and just walked, walked across my music. If you just color the note heads red and green, that is a very myopic view of a student's performance. And by the way, if you ever, if you do use the product and I used it all the time with my kids, my kids would trick the product just by playing the note. As long as you play it on the, on the beat, you don't have to play whole notes. If it's, a, if it's a whole note, if you play an eighth note, as long as it was on the beat when you started it, they're like, yep, you played it right. So my kids would do that all the time. How bad can I play it and still get 100? So here, <laughs> green means you're absolutely awesome. Green is fantastic. Yellow is what I call the meh factor. Meh in the United States means eh, it's not right, it's not wrong but it isn't good, like it's not great. So yellow is meh, and any variation in the, in the horizontal is my, is my tempo discrepancy. So if the, if the line goes down, it means I slowed down. If the line goes up, it means I sped up. Flat is I'm pretty darn good. So the, I really, really tried the first system to get it right, as hard as I could. And then here I sang as she, I think I sang, or, or maybe Malone is what, I'm pretty sure I remember doing that. Uh, red means wow, dude, that's, that's not good. Right, so we called it practice first because the whole point is trying to get the kids the, a little bit of gamification, trying to get them to get 100. By the way, you can absolutely set it to make it easier to get 100. There's easy, medium, or difficult grading. Uh, difficult, by the way, is almost impossible. Uh, to get 100. Um, what's happening in the software? There's an audio recording underneath. You can see my audio recording. 
this gray, behind the psychedelic slug trail is an audio waveform. The original waveform is behind it, the recording is layered over it, and the difference between the waveforms is how it achieves the percentage score. Right? Pretty cool? So you can make your own stuff. I just wanted to just start off with something, and now you've heard a, a song that you can't, will not be able to, it'll be an earworm. You'll all be singing it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I don't know why. So that's practice first. Let me just quickly dive back in here, do a couple more things. Uh, it is definitely affordable when you compare it to other products that are out there. It works on every single device right now. There's no restrictions on what it works on. 12,000 pieces. Uh, we're we're going to add about another 6,000 this summer. We're, we're, uh, we have elves working in New York City making more and more content. Uh, very simple interface. It's really, once you figure it out how that slug trail works, and you can do a simplified version, which is no horizontal, it just makes a bar. It's pretty simple. You can make your own exercises, including audio-only exercise. You can adjust the score. It works on polyphonic instruments. So if you're a guitarist or a piano player and you play a chord, if you play five notes and one of them is wrong, it knows that one of the notes was wrong. Our software can't say, oh, you played a B flat instead of a B natural, but it goes something, it would turn it yellow if you played a major instead of a minor. It knows that you're not right. So it works with polyphonic instruments. Uh, it has a built-in tuner, which is pretty cool, and it works on in really any performance ensemble type setting.